Originally, I had plans of doing a video where I rice Arch Linux from scratch. A lot of people had asked me to do that, and I thought about it for a bit, and actually started working on it. I started making show notes for it. Uh, but in the process of that, I realized my notes were really just like a big bash script. And I figure, instead of going through a video of ricing everything and installing all the programs and having to explain all the little stuff, why don't I just give you something simple? Why don't I just give you a set of bash scripts that will install all of my rice and you can take that and do whatever you want with it. Uh, so that's what I've done. I've now more or less perfected, there are some changes I still wanna uh, you know, do in the future, but I've more or less perfected some bash scripts that you can run on any fresh install of Arch Linux. Uh, and what they'll do is just install all the programs and scripts and everything else you need for my rice configuration. Uh, so you can get my stuff right outside the box and do whatever you want with it uh, on that. So here's how you install it. Uh, once you're to your command line, once you've already installed Arch and you have a network connection and everything else, um, here's what you do. All you do is type curl http colon slash slash lukesmith.xyz slash long term uh, slash um, luke1.sh and then you put that in luke1.sh or something like that. Once you've run that, you've now downloaded the first portion of the script. Uh, just say bash luke1sh and it'll run. Um, and so let's just go ahead and go through what this exactly does. So the script is pretty simple. Here's how it works. First, it'll ask you for a username. Uh, then it'll add that user, make a password for the user, whatever you want. Um, then it'll also put that user's group into the sudoers file, and it'll allow you to use sudo without uh, requiring a password. And that's actually important for some of my shortcuts later on. So that is necessary. That's why it does that. It'll then install uh, a whole bunch of programs that you need. Um, if you already have these installed for whatever reason, uh, it'll just skip over them, so don't sweat it. Uh, it'll start the network manager, install some, uh, you know, Python's, uh, you know, packages. And finally, it'll download another script, the second part, and it will put it in the home directory of the user we have just created. Uh, there are a couple reasons for that. But once this portion of the script is done, just press Control D to log out, or however else you want to log out. Uh, and then log in as the new user you just created. Now once you do that, you can just type bash luke2.sh and then the second portion of the script will run, and this is the last portion. Um, this requires a little compiling, it might take a little time, actually it'll probably be shorter than the first part, but whatever. Um, so, very simple, uh, it downloads Packer, Packer is my AUR manager, I don't really like Yawert, Packer is a lot better for different reasons, but it'll download that, then it'll install a bunch of packages from the AUR. Uh, and the reason we do this as the non-root user is because we need to use the fake root environment to do so. So that's what that's about. Um, then at the very end, all your programs are installed, but the, at the very end what it'll do is it'll download a um, tar.gz file from my website, and that contains all of the config files for my setup. And so it'll download that, and it'll just spit it all in your home directory, and then that'll be it. And you'll have, you know, the command line open again, and to start the graphical environment, you just type in start x, and that's it. And then you'll be at a desktop that looks something like this. And I'm going to have a video pretty soon going into how to use the rice. Um, but as you can see here, I've already provided some documentation. If you look on the desktop, it'll tell you if you press super U, it'll bring up a little guide I've already made, which should help you to navigate my rice, how to use it, how to do the basic stuff, even if you've never used i3 before. Uh, but yeah, as I said, I'm going to put up a video pretty, pretty soon just sort of going over this stuff. Uh, just to do it together, just to make it more tangible. Um, so yeah, either way, uh, have fun. Hope you enjoy it. Hope it's useful to you. And uh, I'll up it, update you soon.